In our previous classes, we have discussed about the common source amplifier and the common drain amplifiers using the MOSFET. In this class, we are going to discuss about the common gate amplifier using MOSFET. Okay, it is the third type of the MOSFET amplifier configuration. Let us see the circuit for the common gate amplifier. This is the circuit of the common gate amplifier. Here, the gate terminal is a common for both input and output side circuit. And the source terminal is the input terminal and the drain terminal is the output terminal. Here, VI is the small signal input voltage and RSI is the source resistance. Okay. And the CC1 is the coupling capacitor that will blocks the DC and allows the AC signal into the source terminal. Here, IQ is a constant current source which was given to the source terminal. The gate terminal has been given to the ground through the resistor RG. Okay, and a gate bypass capacitor CG is used in parallel with the RG resistance that will increase the gain of the amplifier by bypassing the RG resistor in the small signals which means that for AC signals these CG will be act like a short circuit and the gate will be directly grounded and from the drain terminal to the V plus terminal we have a resistance RD here V plus is the positive supply voltage at the output side we have a coupling capacitor CC2 that will block the DC and allows the AC signal to the load resistor. Okay, and RL is the load resistance which was connected between the drain terminal to the ground terminal. So, the above figure shows the common gate amplifier biased with a constant current source IQ. Okay, so here RG will be used to prevent the build up static charge on the gate terminal. And the capacitor CG ensured that the gate is at the signal ground. Okay, so this capacitor CG will act like a short circuit, which means that the gate is directly connected to the ground terminal for the AC signals. The coupling capacitor CC1 and CC2 will couple the signal from source, and the coupling capacitor CC2 will couple the output voltage to the load resistance RL. Now the small signal resistance R0 is assumed to be infinite here. Okay, so we are assuming there is a small signal resistance R0 which is in parallel with the GM VGS source that is infinite resistance and uh, the small signal equivalent circuit has been drawn like this. This is somewhat different from the remaining circuits. So here the gate terminal is grounded and source is the input terminal and drain is the output terminal which was marked like this. From the ground terminal to the source terminal, we have VI and RSI. So VI is the signal source and RSI is the source resistance which was given to the source and the capacitors has been short circuited and all the DC sources has been grounded. V plus is grounded and V minus is also grounded. Therefore, there is no current IQ. Okay. So, and uh, the V plus is also grounded. And uh, GM VGS is a dependent current source that is connected between the drain terminal to the source terminal. And the small R0 has been eliminated by assuming it has infinite resistance. And RD is the drain resistance which was connected between the drain terminal to the ground terminal. Okay, so from the drain terminal to the ground, we have connected the RD and parallel with the RD, we have RL resistance because we have short circuited the CC2. Okay, so RL is in parallel with the RD resistance and the output current is the current flowing in the load resistor RL. Now we can able to calculate the small signal voltage gain by calculating the output voltage and input voltage. Here, Output voltage is a voltage across the parallel combination of RD and RL and the current I0 is equal to the opposite of the GM VGS current. The direction of the GM VGS current is right to the left and the direction of the I0 current is 
left to the right so both are opposite to each other therefore we can say the current i naught is equal to minus id that is nothing but the gm bgs okay minus gm bgs current into the parallel combination of rd and rl that will give you the output voltage v naught then we are going to apply the kvl equation around the input side loop we can get the vi is equal to input current ia into rsi minus vgs voltage okay vi is equal to ia into rsi minus vgs because here we have the minus first there we have the plus that's why the vgs is nothing but the minus vgs and we know that the input current ia is nothing but the gm vgs but the directions of the ia and vgs if you see ia is from the left to the right and gm vgs is right to the left therefore they are equal in magnitude opposite in sign therefore we can say ia is equal to minus gm into vgs we can replace ia in this equation like minus gm vgs okay so vi is equal to minus gm vgs into rsi minus vgs so in this both terms we can come on the vgs therefore vi is equal to minus vgs into 1 plus gm rsi okay that is the value of the vi and the gate to source voltage can be written as vgs is equal to here vgs is equal to what vgs is equal to vi divided by 1 plus gm into rsi okay like that we can write and uh, av the voltage gain which is equal to v naught divided by vi that is equal to here output voltage was given as minus gm vgs into rd parallel rl and the input voltage is minus vgs vi is equal to minus vgs plus 1 plus gm into rsi therefore the voltage gain av is equal to minus minus will get cancelled here so gm into rd parallel rl divided by 1 plus gm into rsi that is the value of the voltage gain of the common gate amplifier next we are going to calculate the current gain of the common gate amplifier the common gate circuit with a northern equivalent circuit is shown in the figure usually for the common gate amplifiers the input signal is the current rather than a voltage so that's why this thevenin's equivalent circuit of vi and rsi can be replaced with a northern's equivalent circuit of the ia into rsi okay so now we have replaced this thevenin's equivalent circuit into the northern's equivalent circuit ia into rsi now the resultant equivalent circuit will be looking like this next the output voltage i naught can be written here like I naught is the current flowing in the RL resistor. I naught is the current flowing in the RL load resistor that can be found by using the current division rule. The current flowing in RL resistor is I naught and the current flowing in RD resistor is I and the total current is nothing but the GM VGS. Okay. Therefore, we can calculate I naught is equal to the total applied current the total applied current is minus gm vgs because the direction of the current is opposite to these two currents therefore we can take ticked as minus gm vgs into opposite resistance so we need the current in rl therefore opposite resistance is rd so rd divided by the total resistance rd plus r okay that is the value of the output current and the input current we have ii plus gm vgs so here we have to apply kcl at this node i i is a one of the incoming current and uh, gm vgs is a one more input current gm vgs from this side and uh, one more incoming current is through rsi that is vgs divided by rsi which is equal to the zero so that the i i can be written from the above equation i i is equal to minus of vgs so in these terms if the gm vgs and this gm vgs by rsi we can take to the right hand side and they will become negative terms in that we can common the vgs therefore minus vgs into gm plus 
1 by R, RSI we can get. Okay. So, from this one, after taking the LCM, we can get 1 plus GM RSI divided by RSI into minus VGS as II current. Okay. Now, we can get the AI, the current gain of the common gate amplifier, which is the ratio of output current to the input current. Here, output current is minus GM VGS into RD divided by RD plus RL and the input current is minus VGS into 1 plus GM RSI by RSI. So, here we can cancel the VGS and VGS. Remaining equation is AI is equal to RD divided by RD plus RL into GM RSI divided by 1 plus GM RSI. In this equation, the 1 is very much lesser than the GM into RSI. Therefore, we can neglect the 1 from the equation. Therefore, the numerator GM RSI and denominator GM RSI will get cancelled. And here also, the load resistance value is lesser than the drain resistor RD value. Therefore, we can neglect the value of the RL. Therefore, RD, RD will get cancelled. The AI is approximately equal to 1. Okay. So, assuming that RD is very much greater than RL, and RSI is very much greater than 1, the AI voltage gain will be approximately equal to unity R1. Okay, so then we can calculate the input impedance ZI. The common gate circuit has low input in input resistance because of the transistor is biased like that. Okay, therefore the input resistance RI is the ratio of the input voltage VGS to the input current IA. Okay, so here Ri is equal to minus Vgs into Ii that will be equal to 1 by Gm. Since we know that the Ii current is equal to the minus Gm Vgs, okay, so that Vgs Vgs will get cancelled here, minus minus also will get cancelled. We can have only 1 by Gm that is the input impedance of our common gate amplifier circuit. Now we are going to calculate the output resistance of the common gate amplifier okay so from the figure we can write the vgs the gate to source voltage which is equal to the minus gm vgs into rsi because it is ii into rsi actually ii is nothing but the minus gm vgs therefore vgs is equal to minus gm vgs into rsi value but while calculating output resistance we have to make the input voltage is equal to zero Therefore, VI is equal to 0. Therefore, the VGS is also equal to 0. So, which makes that the GM VGS is also equal to 0. Here, GM VGS source is equal to 0, which means that that will be open circuited. Okay, the GM VGS circuit is open circuited. Therefore, we can say output resistance is the resistance looking from output side of our amplifier circuit. Okay, so if you see from output side, the Z0 will be equal to the RD resistance, RD resistance. And we have a load resistor RL which is in parallel with the RD. Therefore, we can get the effective output impedance Z0 dash or R0 dash that is equal to the parallel combination of RD and R. Okay. So, that is the value of the output resistance of our the common gate amplifier circuit. Next, we are going to compare the three MOSFET amplifier configurations like CS amplifier, CD amplifier and CG amplifier circuits. Okay, this table will give you the comparison of these three amplifier configurations. If you compare the voltage gain of the three amplifiers, the common source is greater than one and the common gate is also greater than one and the source follower are the common drain amplifier voltage gain is equal to one. There is no current gain in the common source and the common drain amplifiers. We have the current gain in only the common gates circuit that is also approximately equal to 1. And the input resistance of the common source and the source follower will be equal to the prevenance resistance value which is a parallel combination of R1 and R2. So here RTH is nothing but R1 parallel. R2 resistance and for the common gate amplifier, so we are having the low input resistance. If you see the 
output resistance of the common source that is the moderate to high output resistance and the common source has a low output resistance and the common gate has moderate to high output resistance. Because of high input impedance and a low output impedance, the common source can be used for impedance matching purposes. As the voltage gain of the common source amplifier is greater than 1, we are mostly preparing the common source amplifier for all amplification purposes. In these three amplifiers, we are mostly preparing the common source amplifier because of high input impedance and uh, moderate output resistance and also it, it contains greater than 1 which means that the voltage gain of the common source amplifier is also high okay because of these factors we are preparing the common source amplifier in our amplification purposes this is the comparison of the three MOSFET amplifier configurations I hope you understood